Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the early spring chill, well, it continues. Look at the high temps today, a solid 11 degrees below the average, only 45. And we'll have a brief spike tomorrow. We'll get into the low 60s for a few hours during the afternoon. And then it's back with cool, very cool weather tomorrow night. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and right through the weekend. So hard to find any long stretches of mild weather uh, on that the seven day future cast. Uh, showers, drizzle, and fog in most locations right now, including down in Newport, downtown. Uh, the visibility is not too bad. I mean, in Narragansett, you can see, you know, the drizzle on the camera lens. It's, the wind is picking up a little bit as well. So the steady rain has moved out, I think, from here on out until about three o'clock in the morning. It's mostly just mist and some drizzle. Temperatures now upper 30s to around 40. Good news will stay above freezing. Ice and snow, uh, not an issue through tomorrow morning and certainly not in the afternoon as temperatures approach uh, 60 degrees. Threat tracker overnight still keeping it at that yellow kind of cautious level, more so because of that locally dense fog. Though some isolated thunderstorms after, say, four or five o'clock in the morning through about, say, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And again, some of that dense fog later on, even though the fog isn't very thick right now. And for Wednesday, fog is an issue in the morning. We've got high wind gusts during the afternoon between 45 and 55 miles per hour. Still a chance of isolated thunderstorms through around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and more showers as well. As far as this high wind warning, I don't anticipate widespread outages or widespread damage. We've certainly been through that before, but I think sporadic uh, outages are possible, sporadic tree limb damage. I just don't think it's widespread. Future uh, satellite and radar shows, watch the steadier rain pulling away. We're left with just mist and drizzle. Meanwhile, big storm creating severe weather across the Mississippi River Valley. Look, I have the lightning tracker turned on. Look at all these cloud to ground lightning strikes, tracking a warm and a cold front. The warm front will produce showers, drizzle, fog and thunder overnight tomorrow morning and then the approaching cold front in the afternoon will create gusty wind and another round of showers and some scattered thunderstorms. The humidity is on the rise up and down the east coast as the humidity continues to rise. The um, probability of dense fog will start to increase overnight through early tomorrow morning. So here's our breaks down. Just watch the time bar right up in here and early morning again um, isolated scattered thunderstorms in a few communities, temperatures in the upper 40s, showers, drizzle and fog continue. Now the approach of the cold front around three, four o'clock in the afternoon, these blips of orange and red indicating some brief downpours and thunder, very windy. Look at the temps, upper 50s to low 60s by mid to late afternoon. Once we get beyond seven o'clock, skies are clearing out. This sets up for a dry, cooler Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. Showers, fog and an isolated thunderstorm around sunrise starting off in the upper 40s, low 60s for a few hours, strong wind gusts, scattered showers and thunderstorms. It'll feel more like a spring day minus any legitimate sunshine. Back to cool weather for Thursday, chilly but dry for the Red Sox home opener. Another chance for it. some chilly rain showers, maybe a few wet snowflakes mixed in. It's, it's not a snowstorm, don't worry, but a chilly rain at 46. Clouds very cool on Saturday, partly sunny skies on Sunday with the temperature approaching the yeah, lower 50s. Unfortunately, no extended stretches of mild or warm weather on that uh, seven day future cast. So watch for the fog and some scattered thunder tomorrow morning and again during the afternoon. All right. Thank you, Tony.